Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, we are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we've got Freya, Freya. with us as well. We are She's in, tired. She's very tired, yeah. So we are in one of our very cozy little nooks in our house um, enjoying uh, a lazy day, uh, except that we're doing this video. <laughs> but actually this is a cozy video too. It's one of the show and tells. We did a show and tell on our patchwork quilts uh, a while ago, um, crazy quilt and one of the quilts where we have a lot of things that were meaningful to us that we found uh, when Arna's family farm was renovated. So if you want to see that video, I suppose that there is a link popping up somewhere over our heads. I think it's probably it's over, over me, Arna's yeah. head, I would say. If the screen is there, it would <laughs> somewhere be there. Up. Uh, and you can enjoy that episode. It's been overwhelmingly positive. We really enjoyed uh, getting all that feedback on our quilting and our patchworks. We do love doing it, but we're not originally... Uh, I mean, we've, we're self-taught. We've just done whatever we feel like doing. Today we've got a new show and tell, and I'm sure you can see that we're sitting on a nice little daybed that we've made ourselves. The daybed itself is uh, very, very old. Uh, the it's frame like one of the beds that you can fold together. Fold together? It's like some army stuff thing. Yeah, it's an army so, bed. It's a couple of hundred years old, old. Uh, maybe from the late 18th century. I'll say a hundred. <laughs> I think it's very old. <laughs> it's old. It's old anyway. And uh, we've actually uh, uh, added new padding to it. Um, I'm sure you can see that we are sitting on a, uh, on a quilt, which is part of the daybed. Uh, it is done in the log uh, cabin blocking uh, technique. Just like pieces of leftovers? Yes. And then we have a bunch of cushions on this daybed that we are leaning against and it's very comfortable. Today we're going to show you some of the cushions we've made. Uh, we have them in very many different techniques. So this is not only patchwork, we've got some embroidered ones, we've got a few knitted ones. Um, and uh, we're going to tell you a little bit of, uh, about how we clean uh, our <laughs> office uh, when we do the cushions. Yeah, so this is, this is maybe the, the best cleaning project yeah. we have because this, this one is made of fabric from the first and the second collection we made when we worked in the fashion industry. Yeah, that's true. And maybe there is like, I think maybe this one is something different, but all the, the gingham and the Chinese fabric are from the collection. Yeah. So back in the old days when we did uh, Ready to Wear, our first collection uh, was a gingham and denim collection, which was uh, with these fabrics. Our second collection, we used these very simple, ordinary cotton fabrics from China uh, that are very colorful and very beautiful. And this uh, is made in the crazy quilt yeah. technique that we like. And because, uh, you know, these are all cushions and because a cushion is square or rectangular and you can make uh, patches that are obviously square or rectangular, uh, it's super convenient to just make pillows or cushions. This one consists of four patches. As you can see, there is a seam here, here. So first you make each patch a la crazy quilt. Uh, when you use this, you know, the same fabrics over and over again, you do get some cohesion, even if it is kind of crazy yeah. in a way. And then they've been joined together. Uh, and let's show the back. The back is simple, very simple. Lining. And we didn't have the green threads, so we used white. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> we- That happens sometimes. Yeah, we've lined it. But and we then, like, like to use the, the old buttons. Yes. It's a nice way to cover up- To finish the, it up. Or finish the, the back of it. Yeah, the, and then you have a very simple, very nice cushion that you can use, you know, you can decorate a bed with it, you could put it on your day bed. And again, it's a very easy, quick way to clean your office, especially if your office looks like ours, which <laughs> is full of yarn and used to be full of fabrics. Now we are rekindling our love for patchwork. We have been uh, filming a lot of patchwork related episodes and uh, of course our rooms are now quickly <laughs> filling up with fabric. It's changing. Yeah, and I suppose that a lot of people would be commenting now what size is this cushion, so I'm actually gonna be uh, very nice and uh, tell you more or less. Mm -hmm. But when you do the cushions, the, the sizing is very... It doesn't really it matter. It comes by itself more yeah. or less because you have to make a cushion that fit the pillow you can get. Yeah. So, so these check are... the pillow and make the cushion to the pillow. So this is a 53 centimeter by 
50, yeah, 53 by 53, it's pretty square. Uh, so it's, it's uh, very simple. You could say 50 by 50 as well. As you know, we're not too fuzzy about getting exact measurements. We don't really care. As long as it looks like a square, it is <laughs> As square. long as you get the pillow inside the cover, it's fine. Yeah. So shall we do, uh, do the simple one? The simple one. Because this, we have a few of those. Yeah, we have those. They're very simple because this is from like in the fashion world, we have those hangers. Like when you order fabric, you get samples. So it's like a hanger. It's like a, a group of uh, pieces of fabric and yeah. then they show all the colors. Yeah, usually you go to, we used to go to a big trade show in Paris. We ordered our hangers. And then we went home and waited for the post to send them. And then they'd come in groups so that you could see the colors. And these already have the shape. So, and it is, I think they were too nice to throw away. So we made pillow, a pillow. Yeah. And I mean, they were, they came in this size, which is pretty small. And then we just build them up into a pillow. That's a great way to not throw away a set of hangers. And normally when you get those hangers, they're more or less like in the color, colors on the hanger. They, it goes together because it's from a collection. Yeah, and this also, one, this one, is this one same. is sixty by sixty, and uh, this one doesn't have any opening, so this is just sewn together, uh, and you can't really open it. You have to open it like by, with the scissors. Yeah, or and then we've got this one that is really nice. This is a really, really great wool quality. It's beautiful. The colors are really beautiful. Yeah. Again, too beautiful to throw away. And no opening on this one. We just sew it together. Yeah. I think the, the inside of this one is very synthetic, so you can yeah. wash everything by hand, maybe. Yeah. And this is also a woolen fabric, yeah. a solid color. So we'd probably, um, I don't remember now, but we've probably gotten these hangers, and this is something we went and bought. Yeah, we have to buy them. Yeah. On and the back. size of this one, if you want the size. And if you're not in Europe and if you don't have uh, centimeters, you'll have to go to Google and find a conversion uh, table. But don't think too much about it. No, but I'm just giving it's the like, sizes just in case people yeah. want to know, because people are curious, aren't it? This one is 73 centimeters uh, by, let's see, 58. 73 by 58. And you know what? I mean, you could actually tailor your own size if you buy if you make your own cushion, whatever you size the, you want. The, that filling. The yeah, and then you go stuff. to a store that sells filling. Usually it's acrylic filling. And then you just buy bags, basically, of acrylic mm -hmm. filling. And then you can just make fill it your up yourself. Pillow. So um, shall we look at a couple of more with patchwork? I think we've got a final one. That's the one. same style. That's the same style, but it's got different... Different fabric. Fabrics. But again, this is from the hanger. So it's just a square you got. Yeah, and this I have to say... pieces are a little bit more interesting, but it's just from the same collection. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. To me, this looks like a cohesive collection. Mm -hmm. It's uh, all the fabrics come from the same collection. Yeah, so they're just the complementing producer. each other, which is really nice. And this has uh, yeah. the button. The button fastening on fastening. the back. Wish we, we liked that button. Yeah. So they were used a lot, so they're going apart somewhere, so we maybe have to fix them. But yeah, we really like these cushions. I think that whenever you have an interior that you want to revamp, doing a cushion, you know, changing the cushions is one of the easiest and cheapest things you could possibly do if you want to redecorate. You know, they say if you have a lot of cushions in your house, you've been staying too much in a hotel. Oh, okay, that applies to me. So maybe we travel too much. Yeah. And this one is... of the hotel. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this one is 50 by 53 centimeters, in case you're wondering. Okay, so we've discussed uh, all our uh, patchwork cushions. Let's go. Yeah, or let's put those on the floor. Let's do the, the embroidery. Because we have these big cushions with, uh, I think it's yeah. called, in Norwegian it's called klostersen. Yes. It's like a cloister seam. Or maybe. Well, that's know. the problem. We have been looking for the word. Uh, where English is not our mother language. Klostersen is in Norwegian. And we Googled it, we went to Google Translate, we've tried finding it and we haven't found it yet. So we would be very appreciative if you would tell us what this uh, stitch is called in English, because we really don't know. So we're going to be zooming it in so that you can see it. And please tell us what this is in the comments field. But the pattern is based on squares and each square has three threads. Yeah. And, and this one we made with uh, yarn for weaving, so it's a very 
coarse, coarse yarn. yarn, except the gold. That's Which is a Lurex yarn. Lurex. And, and this is it's so many years since we made it, and yeah. I think it's I the colors has changed a little bit. Yes, the color the colors have bleached. I absolutely love it right now. I thought in the beginning that the colors were too strong, but I think that this is my absolute favorite of all the embroidered pillows we have. Yeah. Uh, I like it when it has that feeling of of wear and tear. I think that um, the Patina hmm. is is really nice now, and and the pattern is from uh, tapestry because like in Norway we have this uh, tradition of uh, the woven tapestries with eightly roses mm. and it's all based on squares, so it's rute awkward in English. Yeah. It's like a, a it's woven like tapestry a woven where the pattern is based yeah. on squares. So this this design is inspired by traditional Norwegian. Uh, tapestry designs and then we have adapted it and created this design of a cushion and then um, because we don't like throwing things away but and, and also because we like shopping uh, I remember distinctly we went uh, to London it was 2001 mm -hmm. and we went to Alfie's antique market which today is completely different today it's very high-end back in 2001 uh, there were all these little stalls in there where you could buy uh, secondhand vintage stuff. Lots of little fabric uh, so the, is outlets. This where this came I'm from? sure if you're from London, uh, you know what we're talking about. Yes, and we've got this vintage antique uh, golden fringe, which is actually metallic. And it caught our eye in one of those little uh, stalls. And uh, we didn't buy it with, you know, with anything in particular in it mind. It was just beautiful. It was just beautiful. So we got whatever they had uh, there, which was basically what we have attached to the pillow so it's on just both on sides. Two, on two sides. Yeah, so it's only on two sides. Uh, but you know, two sides is enough. Yeah. It gives it that little extra mmm that I think is really <laughs> cool. So, and it's stitched on by hand. Yeah, so that is stitched on by hand. This is really, really old, uh, probably from military. Uh, uniforms or it's old. or something like that. Let's look at the back. The back the is wool. A, a wool. Again, good quality wool. Uh, and this pillow we made ourselves. So this is like, I don't remember the stuffing, but there's some stuffing. Yeah. It's not a pillow we bought. It's no. So I think these made. pillows were done about 20 years ago. So yeah. whatever is in there, we, we don't, don't remember. remember. But Maybe I think, there's a surprise if we open Well, it. I think if we open it, we should <laughs> replace with the stuffing it's yeah. probably you should time maybe open it and clean it. it and again um we love the oversized pillow Th these are perfect these are always on this day bed it's a great place to just sit down look out look at the lake and just relax with a huge pillow on you and i'm sure people are curious about this size because this is quite an unusual size so i'm gonna give it uh, this is a 73 by 73. Mm. I'm thinking it's pretty right, it's square. It's the same you see on the pattern. Yeah. It's a square. Well, not really. Okay, almost a square. It's almost a square. It's 73 <laughs> by 69. Mm. Uh, maybe I'm measuring it wrong because it's not flat. But anyway, say 70 by 70. That's a great size for an oversized pillow. And we have one more and that is... Two more. Yeah, and, but the other one is Freya's pillow. Yeah. The one on the floor here. This is Freya's pillow. And Maybe uh, a little bit too nice for a dog, but she's she's been like... Yeah. She's working on it. So there's some of the, the threads are... Yeah. So this is Freya's bit. pillow. Uh, we uh, embroidered it, but we didn't stuff it until Freya came along. And uh, when uh, we needed to find a place for Freya to sleep because I don't believe dogs should sleep in the same bed as humans. I really don't believe that. So we decided to make her a bed. And so we had already embroidered the pillow, but it wasn't stuffed. Mm. And we decided to not stuff it too much. So this is quite loosely. It's like a day bed for the dog. Yeah, it's loosely <laughs> stuffed. And uh, we have it actually under, we have a, um, we have a, a traditional stove uh, in the kitchen. Which, has, which is fired by firewood. And there are little niches below 
the stove where we put uh, wood, firewood, and one of those niches we emptied it, and this pillow fits perfectly in there. And then Freya can crawl in and sleep here and be nice and snug mm -hmm. inside her little nook. And uh, she really loves this. Um, it is wearing out, but again, yeah, I but have to say, I like when things are worn out. I like when you use things. I like that they have that look to them, that these pieces are loved mm. so much that they are worn out. But we still have the yarn, even if it's like many years since we made it. Yeah, so we, we still have some leftover yarn. So we could repair it. So we it. could repair it. And this pattern is also from the old traditional patterns, which we, I think we changed the colors on this one. Yeah. But it's a traditional pattern. And I know for a fact that even if this is l lightly stuffed compared to the other one, the dimension is the same. So these all are based on more or less the same size. Yeah. So and one more. We've got a couple. Oh, actually, we've got two more. No, one more with the, that's. This is the traditional one. Yeah. The same style. This is maybe a little bit smaller. This is slightly smaller. Yeah. Yes. And this is also a traditional pattern, but we added like the gold and. Yeah, the lurex. Changed the colors. A yeah, the bit. lurex yarn makes it a little bit more uh, contemporary. Mm. But there's like we have a, a whole book of this uh, this tapestry. Yeah. And there's so much inspiration and you could do pillows forever. But it's, it's kind of hard to make these because this uh, yarn is very, very stiff. stiff. So yeah. you have, really have to work it yeah, you through really the, get a good work the canvas. Again, we've stuffed it very loosely and actually it's done on purpose because this pillow doesn't actually belong to this daybed. Uh, we have in another room a beautiful uh, 50s uh, armchair with a, a tall wing. I think it's called a wing back chair. Maybe. It's know. got this tall back to it, and then it's kind of enclosed like that. It's really nice. And that is a very special chair that faces a window that overlooks the lake. And there's a, a stool as well. You can <laughs> put your legs up. It's a really nice place to read a book. Read the book. And uh, by not stuffing it too much, you're able to kind of slide this in into the wing back uh, of the chair. And then it actually it gives you a little bit of extra support. but it makes it still comfortable enough to sit in that chair and then you, you mm. kind of lie You know, if you fill this that. too much, there's not a place for you for in you, the chair yeah. anymore. So, so that's another tip. If you want to <laughs> decorate a chair uh, and, you, and do a pillow like that, don't stuff it too much. Then it kind of looks easier to sit on as opposed to, yeah. you know, something that is so thick that you don't even fit. Put that behind you and we take out this one because this is something I made when I was a kid and we still have it. Oops. Oops. This is, uh, I think I made it in the 70s. Oh, that's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's from uh, a pattern because in the 70s it was very popular to make this uh, Klosterschem, the cloister seam. Or whatever it's or called. Or whatever. You tell uh, us. They, it was very popular. They have it in every home and every cottage. It was the pillow, it was the, they call it the Klokkestreng. Is yeah, there just that. a small tapestry piece with a bell in the end yeah. or something like iron with the krusedullir? Yeah, it's kind of a decorated <laughs> piece, a decorated of, piece. <laughs> that you hang on the wall and it's got a bell in the bottom. Very uh, 70s. And I don't know why. It's like, who need that? But we had it. And then yeah. the big piece, the, the tapestry. Yeah. So, and this is made in a very bad yarn. Yeah. This is this something... This synthetic, 100% acrylic. 100% because it, it didn't cost anything. And, but it, it still, the colors hasn't changed. It's changed, peeling quite a lot. But it's peeling a little bit, but I like the pattern. The pattern is really nice. And it was a lot of work, so I was very proud when I finished it. Of course. It. I mean, in 1970, you were... In Madalala. So, in 1970, you were seven years, so... Yeah. In 1973, you were Well, like, 10. maybe t 10 or 12. Really? Yeah. Amazing. Well, yeah. what else could I do? Yeah. Okay, we've got <laughs> two more cushions for you guys. Yeah, this These... is actually knitted on the round. Because, I know, this was like a crazy idea. We, we just found this pattern from... A, it's like a weaving pattern. Mm -hmm. And... It, actually, it was supposed to be like a tapestry thing, but we took the pattern and we knitted it. So this is knitted from a woven pattern. Inspired by a uh, woven, woven like pattern. the diagram for a, a, a woven tapestry. Mm. 
So I think there's like seven colors and there's a lot of work because you have to have all these colors at the same time because you don't cut all of them when you knit. So, and, and it was supposed to be like a jacket or something, but it was a little bit too much Wide, yes. or too much arts and crafts. Too, yeah. So we, we just cut them. cut them and we made pillows. So or, originally knitted on the round, you can imagine what a big piece this was, knitted on the round. We cut it in half and then we made, made two pillows. Pillow. And these have the, uh, the same idea. You've got a lining in the back with, with, um, with, the buttons. with buttons. And these pillows are actually regular uh, pillows for the bed, sleeping pillows. Mm. In but a, you know, if you want to do a knitted pillow like this, it's very easy to knit on the round because it's really hard to purl all these colors back. Yeah. So if you knit on the round, you have two pillows in one. You mm. can even have the same on the back, but we, we wanted to have two because it looked good in the sofa. Yeah. So this is a little bit about uh, our cushions. I think that cushions is Cushions are great things to do if you knit, if you crochet, if you embroider, if you do patchwork. There's always a cushion that you can make. Uh, cushions are really good for your house. Uh, they can change the atmosphere of your house. If you want to redecorate uh, cheaply, the best way to do it is just change all your cushions and voila, you have a nice new environment for your house. And they're fun to make, I mean, in any kind of technique. Uh, there's always room for more cushions. And That's if you're what tired of them, you can just take take it out and put a new one. Yeah. On top. So, so yeah, this oh, was so. a little bit about our show and tell. Freya is in all this fluffiness. Uh, oh. <laughs> she fell asleep enjoying the the cushions softness. Uh, and yes, all we have to say now is that we look forward to seeing you again next time. Please remember to subscribe. If you like this video, let us know by doing a thumbs up or maybe two thumbs up. <laughs> uh, and yeah, if you want to see patterns for these, uh, we'd really like to know. We're very unsure uh, what people want nowadays. So let us know <laughs> if you want a pattern and let us know which of these cushions you like the best and we'll consider it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And see you again <laughs> next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.